the picture that goes next to the word comeback in the NFL dictionary. The regular season finale, Buffalo's AFC reign appeared to be over. Now down the middle, touchdown! Not only did we lose, but we lost Jim Kelly. And so here we are in our quest for our third AFC championship. We just got beat real bad uh, in Houston. And so here we go, having to play a wild card game. seatbelts it's playoff time the bills and the oilers ready to get it on in an afc wild card game and the road to the super bowl project pasadena starts here at orchard park new york this afternoon the bills will have to travel the long way to get back to the super bowl this year they will have to go on the road if they beat the Oilers this afternoon and they will have to beat them without their number one man jim kelly frank wright will start at quarterback for the houston oilers it will be their top gun in the run and shoot warren moon so as i said fasten your seat belts it's time to play football in orchard park Here's the throw. little puck play comes back by some time throws into the end zone, touchdown for Houston. Little play action fake in the end zone, touchdown. Webster Slaughter. Blocking like that, baby, stop them all day. It's our day every time we block. They can't stop you. You know that. Yeah, the Oilers own that game in every possible respect. They looked like an offense that wasn't going to be stopped. Frank Reich is a senior in Maryland, engineered one of the greatest comebacks in the history of college football. Maryland was trailing by 31 to nothing to Miami. He and the Terps ended up beating the Hurricanes 42-40. Maybe he could do a 32-point. Now they overshift. They give it to Carwell here. No, it's Davis running left, trying to get to the corner flag, and he is in for the touchdown. When he made that particular one, you can kind of see the momentum shifting a little bit. And like, oh my God, here he goes. To get back in the game, the Bills needed every bounce of the ball to go their way. And a little onside kickoff, and it didn't go far enough. Wait a minute, yes it did. Let's see who got the ball. And now they're in their cars, listening to the play-by-play, -play, and they're realizing something amazing is going on, so they're turning around. That kickoff out at the 48-yard line. So maybe the Bills can turn it here. The ball was back in Reich's hands, and four plays later, it was back in the end zone. Four-man rush, drops back in the pocket, sails it long, all oh, oh, baby at the 10, at the 5, in for the touchdown! Simply, it went from 35 to 3 to 35 to 17. Indeed, he put a move on the corner, Jerry Gray, and was wide open down the near sideline, and suddenly, which stadium has awakened? Two quick strikes pulled the Bills to within 18, and memories of previous playoff collapses began to haunt the Oilers. 4.29 left in the third. Here is Reich, looking to throw, rolls out, throws. Down there is uh, Reed at the five, in for the touchdown! Andre Reed has scored! And you heard all these stories of people trying to get back in that stadium to witness this historic event. Stadium. And now the Bills trail by 11 points, 35-24. you got to believe if you're a Bills fan. 4-21 left in the third quarter. Don't go away and fasten your seatbelt. Listen, you can overcome, baby. 
you can overcome this. 4.07 to play in the third quarter, the clock running. Here's Moon to throw, looking around, throws, and it's deflected and intercepted by Henry Jones at the 40, at the 30, the 25, and down he goes to the 23-yard line. The crowd in a frenzy. Momentum. What's the blitz? Reich is going to the shotgun, fourth and five at the 18. There's the snap. He backs up. He looks. He throws. Three touchdown. The Bills, meanwhile, could do no wrong with stars like Cornelius Bennett, Jim Kelly, and Thurman Thomas on the sidelines. Gutty backups like number 23, Kenneth Davis, continued to pave the comeback trail. And with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, Warren Moon watched his 32-point lead officially disappear. If there was no chance for the Bills to come back. The throw, he looks, he throws, touchdown! It is fandemonium. It is fantastic. Listen to this crowd. Can we get a do you believe it, Van? Do you believe If the Oilers wanted it now, they'd have to come back themselves and fight for it. And Moon's fourth down conversion to Webster Slaughter put Houston in position to salvage overtime. Montgomery says they're ready. He's got it back and down. He's got it up. And the kick is good. It's good with 12 seconds to play, and this one seems to be destined for overtime. But sudden death simply delayed the inevitable for the shell-shocked Oilers. Takes the snap, drops back, has time, looking around, throws, intercepted by the Bills! It is picked off by Odoms! Nate Odom's interception had the Bills poised for victory and realizing what they were about to accomplish. Grand comeback and playoff history. It's the old! It's the old! Below! Now you talk about character. This is one. This is a team, damn it. One yet. Bills can win it here. Wright puts it down. The kick. 